Το 19ο αιώνα στις πολιτείες του Αμερικανικού Νότου, αμέσως μετά τον εμφύλιο, ιδρύεται μια μυστική οργάνωση με το όνομα Ku Klux Klan. Το Ku Klux προέρχεται από την ελληνική λέξη κύκλος. Το κλάν από τις φατρίες της Σκοτίας. 30 χιλιόμετρα βόρεια της Κομόπολης του Χάρισον, σε ένα ξέφωτο στο πυκνό δάσος, βρίσκεται το μυστικό στρατηγείο των υποτών της Ku Klux Klan. Στην είσοδο κυματίζουν τα λάβαρα της οργάνωσης και οι σημαίες των κρατών που οι λαοί τους θεωρητικά ανήκουν στη Λευκή Φίλη. Η ελληνική σημαία είναι ανάμεσα στις πρώτες. Ο πάστορας Τόμ Ρόμπ είναι ο επωνομαζόμενος εθνικός διευθυντής. Ο αρχηγός της Κουκλουξ Κλάν υπερασπίζεται τη Λευκή Φιλή και την κληρονομιά της, δοξάζει το Θεό και το Αμερικανικό έθνος, αποκηρύσει τη βία και ισχυρίζεται ότι δεν ξέρει τι σημαίνει ρατσιστής. There's a lot of reasons I'm here, but I think one of the biggest reasons to join with any group, and it's not just in the United States. My biggest is your personal rights, your self-preservation, um, to protect your family, to own a gun, to be able to protect yourself from the criminals. If they want to call me a racist, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. It, it, I've been called worse. I've been called better. I am a proud white Christian mom, and if that's how they translate it, that's their issues, not mine. I've never stated that white people are superior. I believe we create a culture that is superior for us. Isn't this a statement of, of the superiority of the race? Well, you can call superior, call it whatever you want. I'm just telling you, we create a culture. Blacks create a culture too. There's a culture created in Africa. There's a culture created in China. Is that culture superior to our culture? I, you call it, you call it, I don't care. White power to me doesn't mean oppressing anyone. It means allowing to have self-determination, which we believe that all races should be able to have. We believe in a basic principle of self-determination. And so we say, white people, you've become weak. You need to regain your power. You need to regain some compassion for your own people. But one day, United States will have a, uh, a black person? Yes. Oh, yeah. We, we, this did not come as a surprise to us. People ask us, well, are you shocked? No, we're, we're shocked. This is what we have been saying for many years. This is, not, this is a fulfillment of our prediction. I don't hate black people. I, and I'm not saying that for the camera. Uh, what I, you've heard me in, speaking yesterday. What I say privately is the same thing I say publicly, or vice versa. What I say publicly is the same thing I say privately. But just to say I hate black people, no, I don't hate black people. You know, I think you're all the same way. If I'm in my house and I've got a mouse in our cupboard, I'm going to get that mouse. But I don't have an agenda to tramp through the woods and hunt down every mouse I find. <laughs>
<laughs> Good point. <laughs> I don't have that agenda. But I, I do want to keep my home clean. Amen. Don't I? Our heroes are supposed to be Michael Jackson. Our heroes are supposed to be basketball players and uh, football players, black music. We always hear, we hear constantly. You've heard me repeat this yesterday. We hear constantly about blacks know music. They know how to move. And all that stuff. What is their music? What is this? What, what, is this? what is their music? And you know, and, and we, people are left, people repeat those things as if white people don't have music. We don't have music in our soul. Even if every single one was a black man and, and the Klan was involved in every single one, which would be impossible because Klan is only 150 years old. And so there's a long period of time before the Klan. I'm not responsible for what happened before I was born on this earth. I'm not responsible for the good that was done. I'm not responsible for the bad that was done. The members of the mafia are supposed to be Catholic. Are we going to blame the Catholics for what the mafia does? Πίσω στο αρχηγείο τη Κουκλουξ Κλάν, στο Άρκανσο, απομένουν λίγε ώρε πριν φωτιά αγκαλιάσει τον ξύλινο σταυρό που οι άνδρε υψώνουν στο ξέφωτο. Λίγο πιο πέρα παίζουν τα παιδιά των μελών τη οργάνωση. Φορούν τι στολέ τη νεολαία των υποτών. Οι γονεί του αρνούνται να τα στείλουν στο σχολείο. Η ηγεσία του κόμματος προωθεί την κατοίκον εκπαίδευση ώστε να αποφύγουν τις κακές επιρροές. Το πολυπολιτισμικό σχολικό περιβάλλον λένε ότι τους δημιουργεί ενοχές για τη φυλή τους, ότι τα κάνει ομοφιλόφιλους, ότι τα απομακρύνει από το Θεό. They want to push their agenda into our lives. That's what we oppose. We, we oppose the, the conduct of sodomy. But if they're not pushing it into our lives, we won't know about it. How are they doing this? They're doing it by, by the agenda through in our schools. They're doing it through blackmail of corporations to receive uh, advertising and so forth, uh, uh, protests and boycotts and so forth. They're, they're, that's how they're doing it. How come every American knows there were so-called six million Jews died in World War II, but nobody knows how, Americans, how many American soldiers died? But who are these people Amen. to defy our nation? Amen. Who are these people to destroy our children, to destroy our heritage? Amen. I spit on them! How dare they? How dare they? In the same time, in a evangelist church in Harrison, the church of the Holy Spirit begins. After the Christian songs, it follows the prayer from a woman pastor. What would you do if you if you come across the head of the Knights of KKK? Uh, I did meet him. Um, You've met him. Yes. Thomas Robb. Yes, I have. Well, we shook hands. Mm -hmm. You know. Did he say anything specific? Nope. We didn't. We didn't have an exchange of words other than you know how you doing. Mm -hmm. That was it. First off, if I was president of the United States today, first thing I'd do is close our border. Then I will say all illegal aliens in this country will be removed from the country. Oh, how there's 12 million. We can't do that. We're talking about 12 million people. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start small. I'm not talking about uh, the uh, Gestapo breaking somebody's door, hauling off on my neighbors, you know, that stuff we hear about. Uh, but the point is, they came here illegally. They don't belong here. It's just that simple. According to your theory, black people don't belong here, right? Well, you know, I would say that's true, but I wouldn't say just send the black family back, back to Africa, you know? No, but no, I, I, would, I would entice them, you know? I would entice them, you know, with financial assistance, you know? I mean, half a million dollars, a million dollars. Political power shifts very, very quickly. Historically, has done that. And those who who have this agenda against us, I believe they know that. That's why they're afraid of people like me. They're not afraid of some Klansman that gets up and waves a gun in the air. And we're going to go kill people, and we're going to start a revolution, and we're going to take the country back. They're not afraid of those kind of people because they know how to script them. They can't script me. 
because I don't talk violence. I'm Gandhi.